Hello, and welcome to the first Iceland Roundup episode. My name is Matthew, and I am your host for today. In this episode, we will be covering the surprise change in uplift near Grindavik, the volatile housing situation for evacuees, and we will take a closer look into uplift, the ins and outs of it, as well as the most recent data. To start our tour, we head straight to the uplift charts, notably of Eldvop and Vassaron. The Eldvorp data is produced just south of Key Flavik, and as you can see by where is highlighted, uplift has reduced. If not stopped entirely at 20 mm, uplift stopping is normally a huge sign of an upcoming eruption. However, there is no further evidence to back this up. So that begs the question, why has uplift stopped? It is important to note that in most areas, uplift has remained as expected. However, Eldvorp has stopped and Avasaron has had a sudden increase of 10 mm. While it is hard to accurately compare uplift in different areas, as the terrain is different, it does suggest that magma has moved from 15 km northwest of Grindavik to 15 km northeast. This is quite a large change, and we are unsure if it is truly accurate, so we will go over this in our next episode to see what changes there has been. As of the 13th of February, residents of Grindavik have been offered 95% of their house insurance payout for fire damages which is the cost of rebuilding a house, however this has caused some distress among residents. Fire damage payouts are typically below the valuation of a house, and as such, many residents of Grindavik are losing a lot of money and are being thrown into a real estate market which is already overwhelmed. Many residents are planning on moving into Kiflavik because of its close proximity to Grindavik, however housing prices there are significantly higher, making residents struggle to find new accommodation. As a reminder, these people haven't been home much or at all since the evacuation on the 10th of November. Finally, let's talk about uplift. What is it, and why does it happen? Uplift is a term used to describe the amount ground has risen. Grindavik has experienced a large amount of uplift since November 2023, due to the increase in volcanic activity. Uplift happens due to the sills, or dikes filling with magma, which becomes so pressurized that it pushes the ground up and can also work the other way. As the pressure within these sills or dikes increases, eventually the ground cannot handle the pressure and the magma can escape as an eruption begins. Because of the uplift being linked to quantity of magma, it can be a useful resource for predicting the size, time and location of an eruption. This can be seen on the charts which I have analyzed. The red line indicates when I predict a volcanic eruption to occur, while the orange shows the mean uplift prior to an eruption. The final line is the yellow ones, which show the average minimum and maximum uplift before and after an eruption. When you use the orange line on the newest data, as well as the top yellow line, you get an approximate eruption date. This can be improved by adding 3 to 4 days, as uplift typically reduces, stops, or reverses before an eruption, as shown in the purple boxes. After doing this to multiple charts, you can see the average date I have got is the 24th of February which after comparing to the newest data still appears consistent with the initial estimate. Thank you for tuning in, expect this segment to appear on the Volcaholics channel around three times a week, featuring the latest news from Iceland and in-depth tours of volcanology.